name is Maven Kaya Marito. Thank you for joining us today. I am excited just as you are. Let's sit back, relax, listen attentively, and enjoy the show. One, two, one, two, three, four, three. wonderful day you have given us. Thank you that I am free in your presence because of your grace and forgiveness. We love you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Hello, children. God is pleased when your heart is humble, just like Jesus. Welcome to our Children's, Children's Church, Church Show. Show. How's everything, Kuya Al? Can you remember what we started last week? Clearly, Teacher Leah, it is being less of self and more of Christ. That's according to the Bible, we are lights to the dark world. That's why in everything we do, we need to do it for the glory of God alone. Fascinating, Kuya Al! You are getting better each day. Glory to God! Thank you, Teacher Leah. Now, children, let's continue to glorify God by singing praises to Him. Oh, be careful, little eyes, what you see. Oh, be careful, little eyes, what you see. For the Father of the world is looking down in love. Oh, be careful, little eyes, what you see. Oh, be careful, little ears, what you hear. Oh, be careful, little ears, what you hear. For the Father of the world is looking down in love. Oh, be careful, little ears, what you hear. Oh, be careful, little mouth, what you say. Oh, be careful, little mouth, what you say. For the Father of above is looking down in love. Oh, be careful, little mouth, what you say. Oh, be careful, little hands, what you do. Oh, be careful, little hands, what you do. For the Father of above is looking down in love. Oh, be careful, little hands, what you do. Oh, be careful, little feet, where you go. Oh, be careful, little feet, where you go. For the Father of above is looking down in love. Oh, be careful, little feet, where you go. Such a great reminder for us to be careful in everything we see, hear, say, or do, and go. Do you know what time it is? What? It's story time! <music> Moses had married a wife from Kosh, modern-day Ethiopia. Moses' sister, Miriam, and his brother Aaron, and the high priest were not happy and began to mutter and complain about Moses. Has the Lord spoken only through Moses? They asked. Has it they also spoken through us? The Lord heard their complaining. Now Moses was a very humble man, more humble than anyone else living at that time. So immediately the Lord called to Moses, Aaron, and Miriam and said, Go out to the tabernacle, all three of you. So the three of them went to the tabernacle. Then the Lord descended in the pillar of cloud and stood in the entrance of the tabernacle. Aaron and Miriam, he called, and they stepped forward. And the Lord said to them, Now listen to what I say. If there were prophets among you, I, the Lord, would reveal myself in visions. I would speak to them in dreams. 
but not with my servant Moses. Of all my house, he is the one I trust. I speak to him face to face, clearly and not in riddles. He sees the Lord as he is. So why were you not afraid to criticize my servant Moses? The Lord was very angry with them, and he departed. As the cloud moved from above the tabernacle, there stood Miriam, her skin, as white as snow from leprosy. When Aaron saw what had happened to her, he cried out to Moses, Oh, my master, please don't punish us for this sin we have so foolishly committed. Don't let her be like a stillborn baby, already decayed at birth. Don't let Miriam have flesh that looks half eaten away. So Moses cried out to the Lord, Oh God, I beg you, please heal her. But the Lord said to Moses, If her father had done nothing more than spit in her face, wouldn't she be defiled for seven days? So keep her outside the camp for seven days. And after that, she may be accepted back. So Miriam was kept outside the camp for seven days, and the people waited until she was brought back before they traveled again. Then they left Hazaroth and camped in the wilderness of Paran. When she returned, her skin was clean, and she was welcomed back into the camp and her family. Chapter 25, verse 9. He leads the humble in doing right, teaching them his way. Proverbs 18, verse 12. Before his downfall, a man's heart is proud, but humility comes before honor. Be careful not to complain, but be grateful for what we have. Our story is found in Numbers, the Old Testament. In the story, Moses was chosen by God to lead the Israelites out of Egypt. Even if Moses had the honor of being chosen by God as a leader, he was still very humble and loving. Moses' brother Aaron and sister Miriam were so jealous of Moses' position they began saying bad things about Moses, and it made God mad. Just like what happened to Miriam when God disciplined her by allowing her to get leprosy. It is a skin disease that affects the color of your skin and the use of your limb like hands and feet. It is a deadly disease. If we find ourselves in the same situation as Miriam and Aaron, let's remember, according to Proverbs 18.12, which says, No one is respected unless he is humble. Arrogant people are on the way to ruin. What you can do is pray and ask God to teach you to be humble. Let's make sure to be reminded not to speak against others. What are the consequences of saying bad things to others? You will get into trouble. You will lose friends. Others will avoid you, especially if they'll find out you are saying lies and malicious things. You will eventually feel bad and guilt for speaking against other people. It's hard to say sorry when we make mistakes. Keep this in mind that God disciplines people when they are prideful. I'm glad you are humble enough to admit when you have done wrong. God is pleased when your heart is humble. Just like Jesus, God promises to bless a person who listens to instruction and trust in Him. Hanggang sa muli po, God bless you and praise the Lord.
Thank you, Chaplain Josh, for the Word of God you shared today. I'm also excited to hear from you, children. What can you say? Speaking against others has consequences. Don't fall into the temptation of speaking against others. We need to pray to guide us in everything we do. Dear God, thank you for all the Bible stories that help us learn what we should be. Please help us watch what we say and to say. Games only in love. Help us, Lord, to apologize to others, accept advice, and receive compliments cheerfully. We love you, Jesus. This is what we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Indeed, thank you, Lord, for your guidance in keeping us humble all the time. Until our next episode for more encouraging Bible stories. God bless and goodbye! Okay.